moving to a different hotel because the other one I didn't really like it and it was kind of small so like I felt like me and my friends were going to be crammed and it is also my 25th birthday so I wanted to get like a nicer more New York style hotel here's the bathroom tub toilet window and this is broadway street so you can see all the buildings i love the floor to ceiling windows and then here's the shower we have the sink coming this way i got a king bed and it has floor to ceiling windows like on all of the walls which is just beautiful like the view is amazing but you can see times square there in the distance it has these Two little chairs with the table, TV, and the bed. So this is the hotel I'm going to be staying at for the rest of my time here. And my friends are going to be coming. I'm really excited. There's also a Starbucks on the fourth floor. So that's how I knew it was meant to be because... There's a Starbucks. Like, I was meant to be here. Hey guys, so it's been a while since I picked up the camera. But right now it's the night before surgery. I have surgery tomorrow morning at 7.45 a.m. And they gave me a call yesterday and just told me like, I can't eat tonight after 11 p.m. I can't have any water, like no gum, no candy, no nothing. And then tomorrow morning I get to the surgery center at 7.45 and I'll be seeing the doctor, Dr. Reich, and then the anesthesiologist and like doing before before pictures and stuff like that. And then my surgery is scheduled for around like 9 30 10 o'clock she said and she said roughly it'll take about two hours depends like case by case but but roughly each nose job takes about two hours so i'll probably be out of there by like one or two o'clock tomorrow and yeah i can't believe it's happening um weirdly i'm not like that nervous i get nervous here and there mostly i'm just nervous about going under because i've never gone under for surgery before um i've never really had any like invasive surgeries so this is my first one but overall, I'm really excited. I've been waiting for this for so long. Um, but I'm just hanging out right now in the hotel room. My friends are coming into the city. They're going to be taking care of me. And yeah, I'll update you guys. I don't know. Maybe in the morning? I'm not really sure. I feel like I'm going to forget to pick up my camera just because I'm trying to focus on getting up, making sure I'm not drinking or eating anything, and then like making sure I have all my paperwork and all that type of stuff. So I'll try my best, but if not, then... I'll see you guys after surgery. I came out of surgery. It went really fast. Like, it didn't even feel like I was under for that long. But this is what we're working with so far. I'm like a little. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I did not see that bruise. <laughs> well, hopefully that means I get some good results. We're like a little bruised. <laughs> yeah. Going back to the hotel. Hey guys, so I wanted to update you. It's like an hour and a half maybe after surgery. I'm covering my face right now because the gauze is like pretty bloody and I don't want to gross anyone out, but I change it like every couple hours if it gets too bloody um but i am getting a black eye as you can see it's like worse on one side compared to the other but i've just been like lightly icing the area and i'm not in that much pain um they gave me percocet so i did take one but um it didn't make me drowsy or anything but it did help with the pain a little and i'm just kind of like resting i had some yogurt but just like chilling here in bed is with this gorgeous view so it's making it a lot better but i'm just kind of hanging out with my phone just like letting time pass and yeah i'll update you guys later so it's a few hours later since i talked to you um as you can see i'm like really bloody i have two drip pads on one I keep replacing, but I have to keep on the super bloody one. They don't want me to take it off for like 48 hours. But I'm honestly not much pain at all. Like my throat doesn't hurt. Like my nose doesn't hurt. It looks bad, but it honestly doesn't even feel that bad. So I've taken 
two Percocets so far today and it's been like uh, maybe like six or seven hours since I got out of surgery. So I'm honestly feeling fine and I'm really curious like to see how tomorrow is. I know some people say it gets better after the first day and other people say it gets worse. So we'll see but overall I feel like I'm doing like pretty well and it's really not that bad. So yeah. Hey guys, so technically day one of recovery, we'll call yesterday day zero, that's when I had my surgery. Um, it's like 6 p.m. right now, so I've waited like most of the day to update you guys, but basically last night I couldn't really sleep just because I was so uncomfortable with like the drip pad being super bloody, it was like heavy, and then like breathing out of my mouth was really hard because it just made my mouth super dry so i ended up like instacarting some dry mouth stuff in the middle of the night i got this like um biotin dry mouth thing so you just like kind of swish it in your mouth and after i got that it made it a lot easier to sleep and then i was able to take off the original drip pad my doctor told me i could take it off early so i took that off early and then most of the day just was sleeping I finally had like a normal meal today. I had some sweet green. So instead of just eating yogurt and applesauce, I actually had sweet green today. So it was good to eat some like actual. Can you guys shut up? Uh, so yeah, so basically like I was finally able to eat some real food. Um, but yeah, it definitely looks worse than it is. I can't like take this off yet because it's still bleeding a little bit. But I think like the bruising pretty much stopped like this is as bad as it's gonna get and I know the swelling like comes down like lower on my face but my doctor and like all the nurses have been super nice they've been calling me reaching out to me texting me asking how I'm doing and the pain meds definitely help if you guys get prescribed pain meds like take them because it just helps if you're not in pain you'll be able to just like relax so much better and like hopefully be able to sleep and rest so yeah tomorrow i'll update you guys again and i'm leaving the hotel tomorrow so i'll be heading back to my apartment in boston tomorrow to finish my recovery there before i come back to new york um later next week and do the cash removal so yeah that's my little update not too bad even though it looks kind of scary <laughs> Right now it's Sunday, so it's three days after the surgery. I really didn't film at all yesterday because we were in the car on the way home from New York to Boston. I think I did get a clip of me taking off my gauze pad. So I don't have the gauze pad on anymore. I just have the splint which I keep on until day seven when I get the cash removed. Um, my face is just very swollen like i don't, don't feel like really being on camera right now but i wanted to update you guys um i'm just like drinking some pineapple juice which is supposed to help with the swelling and then making some mac and cheese right now but honestly all i've been doing in my apartment is just sleeping and it really helps to take the medicine because they give me one that helps relax you and make you fall asleep but really the most uncomfortable thing is just the dry blood in my nose it feels like you have like hard boogers that are just like sitting there that you can't pick and it's almost just like irritating like it makes you want to just like like to rip them out but like you can't because there's stitches and everything in there so you kind of have to just leave them in until 
you go for your cast removal, they'll clean your nose for you. I have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I go back to New York on Wednesday, and then Thursday morning will be my cast removal. So I'm just trying to tough it out for another three to four days, but it is pretty uncomfortable. I might look like I'm in a lot of pain, but I'm really not in a lot of pain. I just feel kind of gross have been doing like sponge baths and stuff like that and like having my friends or my mom is gonna wash my hair tomorrow like in the sink just so i can feel like somewhat clean other than that nothing really changed like yesterday i took off the drip pad because the bleeding stopped and then i was just traveling home and then i just slept the rest of the day here yeah so i'm gonna eat my mac and cheese and then probably just go to bed because that's all that i really nice. do i'm back in my surgery outfit because this is like the comfiest outfit Ever, I highly recommend getting this whether you're getting surgery or not. It's just so comfortable um, But today I finally washed my hair for the second time my mom washed it in the bath for me It feels so good just to have clean hair and It's Monday. So I have two more days before I go to New York and get my cast off as you can see the bruising is turning yellow which is a good sign and the cast is starting to get a little bit loose which my doctor said was normal he said that's because the swelling's going down and it's normal for it just to start getting loose I was just getting emotional a few seconds ago like looking at my nose because i can already kind of see what it's going to look like and i was just getting emotional because i wanted a nose job for so long not that my nose even ever bothered me like I was never self-conscious of my nose. I just like in my head had a nose that I felt like would be the right nose for my face. Like I'm just so happy that I finally did it and I know it's gonna turn out so good. Dr. Reich is amazing. All his work turns out phenomenal and it's so natural and he has the exact vision that I have for myself. So I'm just like getting so excited and I could just tell from my nostrils that they're like a little bit smaller and look more petite, which is like exactly what I wanted. Even though my result right now is nowhere near what it's going to be, it takes a whole entire year for all the swelling to go down and at least like three months or so for a majority of the swelling to go down so that you can kind of see what your nose is gonna look like. I can already kind of see like the size and petiteness of my nose. It's just making me so excited. That's my update today. Just chilling in bed and yeah, I'll update you guys again tomorrow. It's officially day six of recovery. I made it back to New York so I'm staying in another hotel right now because tomorrow is a cast removal day, which I can't believe it. It's almost like bittersweet because I feel like I waited so long for this surgery and like prepping leading up to it. And now like the fact that it's almost over and tomorrow's the day that I get my cast off. I just can't believe that it's already all done with. I guess for me, the bruises are being pretty stubborn and my eyes are all bruised up here as well. So it literally looks like I have like eyeshadow on. I am a little bit stuffy, which I think is normal because your nasal passages are really swollen just from getting surgery. I've been applying um, Neosporin on the incision every day as instructed by Dr. Reich. And yeah, so my appointment is early tomorrow morning at 8.30 a.m. I'll be going back to his office and getting the cast removed there. And hopefully I'll be able to film some of it. If not, I'll have to you guys as soon as I get the cast off. I'm scared, I know it's not gonna look perfect. He kept warning me multiple times. It's just not gonna be perfect at first. Like the swelling takes a good three months to go down. So right now my nose is looking a little upturned, like more than I had anticipated. But over time it'll go down. And I even noticed actually like since a couple days ago when I took a picture, Compared to today, it's already kind of like dropping to look a little bit more natural. So I just got to take it day by day. I'm leaving in my car. This is my Instagram. Easiest way to get in touch. Okay. You have my Instagram or? No, I no. actually Oh, perfect. Yeah. Well, now you go. Um, anything comes up, message me anytime. I'm on it all throughout the day. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I'm going to leave you back. You just feel a very light tap, if anything. And nostrils look big and up right now just because of the swelling. That right. Was that was. Like the columella is really, looks really hard to me. 
Yeah. Like, is it very like swollen? Right in part? here, yes, yeah. very swollen. We put a cartilage graft there, so it gets very swollen. Oh, that's funny, okay. I'm gonna have to do stitches. Okay. If I'm hurting you, you just let me know, and okay. I can adjust. Shouldn't be so bad. Can't wait to take another look. Now remember, super, super swollen today. Yeah, I know. Ignore the appearance today. Yeah. But you, know. my dear, or you just can be a home run. And you, you it's just going to look amazing. <laughs> today, yeah. it will not look good. Yeah. Uh, look, when we take this off, you may even have a small hump here, uh, very wide tip, maybe yeah. some uneven nostrils, specific yeah. for your nose. Uh, yeah. I can already sort of see a little bit. You're pro we're probably all going to think it's a little too turned up today. Yeah. That's where we want it, though. Uh, I'm, exactly. It will drop a few millimeters. Okay, I'm officially eight days post-op. I got the cast off yesterday. As you could see from the footage and then i drove home so now i'm back in boston and as of right now this is what my nose looks like if you guys don't know much about rhinoplasty it's like swollen very swollen for the first six weeks and um right now the tip is really like pointed up high um but this is like the side profile my doctor told me that not to worry about the tip being very high and swollen right now um and that'll drop and actually even just like yesterday I slept like 12 hours and i can already tell that the tip is starting to drop so once it starts to drop there will be less like nostril show from the front um but he really defined out the nasal bones here and then this part is all swollen so sooner or later this will come in and have like a nice contour um, I feel kind of funny right now, like, and I can't move my mouth normally. Like, I, this is as much as I can move my smile. So, like, everything is frozen right here. So, I feel kind of funny and, like, like Michael Jackson. But I can already see that the progress is happening. And once it all goes down and, like, you know, you just have to be patient. Once I wait, like, that three to six months mark, I feel like I'm really going to start to love my nose. Right now, I feel, like, kind of funny, like I said. But... I know how rhinoplasty works. People that don't have patience or don't know how rhinoplasty works, they definitely judge it too soon and say, okay, like that person's botched or like you've ruined your face. But the thing with rhinoplasty is like they literally go in and rearrange your whole nose, the cartilage, the bones, everything like that. It takes time to heal. Um, so I can physically feel that my nose is swollen. Like it feels like I have a cast still on it. Um, but when I wake up in the morning, I notice it's the least swollen and then as soon as I get up and start like making coffee or whatever, going to brush my teeth, it starts to swell up again and I can feel the pressure actually in my nose. But um, from the side, this is what it looks like. So before I had a little bump, which I still have a little hump right here, which is definitely just swelling because I can feel it. Um, but he definitely sloped out my nose a bit, which is what I wanted and dr reich is super nice he's so comforting like he tells you straight up you're gonna be swollen you're not gonna like it at first and you know i think a lot of people think like rhinoplasty is a really quick procedure but it actually is like a long-term procedure like, it takes months for the swelling to go down and to see your final result but um dr reich and his whole team was so comforting the facility is so nice and it just like felt very homey and i felt so comfortable there that was my first ever surgery so i really just loved my whole experience um rachel rubin the pa that took off my stitches um she was so nice and like i was even crying i forget if i got it in the clip because my camera may have died but when I like stood back and saw my face for the first time, like not with the up close mirror, but like from the far mirror, I like, I started crying because even though it was swelling, I could see past it. And I'm like, this is, I know this is like exactly what I want. And like the vision that I always had for my face. I always felt like my nose was meant to be a little bit smaller for my face and complement my eyes and my mouth better. And you could see like, I don't know from right here like i know it's so long but it's, it's not even like really dramatically different what's really different mostly is like the raised up and i would say like the nostrils but he put like a graft right here on my columella because my tip used to droop when i smile but um that's really stiff and swollen so that's like pushing the tip upwards but I'm really excited to see the results and like especially every day it's gonna change also the swelling isn't linear so like I was told that some days it might be like a good day and then the next day you might think your nose looks bigger again or more turned up because the swelling just changes 
Um, so yeah, my goal is really just to get a lot of rest and obviously I'll still be continuing my weekly vlog So if you guys are subscribed to my channel, you'll see like the changes I'm sure in my videos as time goes on, but I'm really excited. I had the best journey I'm so happy that I picked dr. Reich if you guys are thinking about a rhinoplasty definitely look up dr Richard Reich on Instagram I'm not getting promoted I just think he is such a natural doctor and he is gonna give you results that fit your face and and he has like no negative reviews, no issues with breathing or you like any problems post-surgery. He's definitely someone that you can trust your face with. And yeah, the bruising is being stubborn. I have makeup on for the first time. This is the first time I put on makeup since before the surgery. The bruising right here is being so stubborn and on my eyelids. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my nose job vlog and make sure you're subscribed if you want to see more and you want to see my progress. I'll definitely be doing like progress updates down the line and stuff, but um, yeah, thank you for watching and I can't believe I did it. This was something that I wanted to do for so long. Obviously, I, it's not the result yet, so can't say that it's over with, but it kind of is bittersweet to think that like for so many years I had wanted to do this and then like planning and building up to it and everything and then like it's like over with like the surgery is over with like wow i really did it um but yeah so i'm so excited for the future and to see the results come in and thank you guys again for watching and make sure you're subscribed like this video leave a comment below and i'll see you guys in my next vlog which i'm sure is just going to be like another boston day in my life or something like that so alrighty, bye guys mm -hmm.